Hello, and welcome to the San Diego Foundation's annual report to the community. I'm Katie Sawyer, Senior Director of Donor and Community Engagement, and I'll be your host. Thank you for being with us. This is our second year hosting this event virtually. And while we miss seeing all of you in person, we know that this is the best way to keep our community safe as we recognize all the contributions of our donors and partners this past year. Over the next hour, you'll hear from our leadership, including President and CEO Mark Stewart and Board of Governors Chair Steve Klosterman. You'll learn about the impact of your giving in San Diego. And at the end, we'll celebrate the first ever recipients of our new Inspire and Enable Awards. To kick things off, we'd like to share with you a little bit about our recently launched strategic plan. To do that, I'd like to welcome Steve Klosterman, who began his term as board chair in July. Steve is regional director at Halbert Hargrove and has worked in investment management since 1981. He's deeply involved in community and has served on our board since 2016. We are delighted to welcome Steve as chair and we're grateful for his leadership as we embark on an organizational transformation guided by our new strategic plan. Steve? I turn it over to you. Thank you for that warm welcome, Katie. I am honored to serve as Board of Governors Chair and to share information about our strategic plan that we launched in June, thanks in part to strong leadership from our past Board Chair, Kay Coleman. First, I owe a debt of gratitude to my colleagues on the Board of Governors, our donors, and community leaders for their participation in creating the strategic plan. The San Diego Foundation has a bold vision for the future, and it is due to all of your critical contributions. The San Diego Foundation's vision is for just, equitable, and resilient communities. We value all people, all partners, and our region. Through the strategic plan, we want to support our neighbors, family, friends, and colleagues through four key pillars. Advancing social and racial justice, fostering equity of opportunity, building resilient communities, and delivering world-class philanthropy. While the strategic plan represents the kind of impact we wanna have and the community foundation we wanna be in the next five to 10 years, we're still the same San Diego foundation that you know and love. We value our donors and community partners, and we will continue to provide extraordinary service to you and help generate greater awareness and understanding of our regional challenges and solutions. We still support the same social impact areas and programs that we always have, health and human services, education, the environment, and others. The strategic plan simply helps us focus our efforts in the areas that we believe can support and dramatically improve the communities with the greatest amount of need in San Diego. To give you an idea of what the strategic plan looks like in action, I'd like now to invite Mark Stewart, CEO and President, to our program. Mark has been such an inspiring and influential leader for the San Diego Foundation and has led us through a year like none other. Thank you, Steve, for that kind introduction and for all the work you have done and will do to support our strategic plan and the San Diego region. But before I embark on describing our strategic plan in action, I'd like to share some good news with you about last fiscal year's performance. I'm proud to announce that thanks to the generosity of thousands of donors, foundations, and corporations, we have awarded the most grants in the San Diego Foundation's 46-year history at $104 million. Bravo! to all the donors, nonprofit organizations, and staff that made this historic work happen. Because of you, we were able to help more San Diegans than ever before during a time when they needed it most. In addition to that good news, we've also grown our assets to $1.3 billion. Yes, that's right, billion with a B. Additionally, our endowment funds grew to $737 million, which ensures that more good work is accomplished in San Diego forever. Thank you to all those who have made this happen. 
You have provided important resources for building a more resilient region that can weather future disasters and assist an innumerable number of San Diegans. Another major accomplishment this year was the launch of our strategic plan. It is hard to believe that it was just this past July that we launched our new strategic plan and vision for just, equitable, and resilient communities. It feels like it was just yesterday and yet a lifetime ago, but such is the function of time during COVID. While we have done so much good in our first 100 days, we have so much more work to do. Here are some of the big wins in our first 100 days of the strategic plan. Through the Black Community Investment Fund, we launched California's first ever Black Home Buyers Program right here in San Diego with our partners at Union Bank, the Urban League, and Lisk San Diego. We have several new home buyers who just received keys to their new homes and are building generational wealth and transforming the trajectory of their families' futures. San Diego is also receiving national recognition from other communities that want to replicate what we've done here. This is what advancing racial and social justice looks like in a San Diego where half of as many black families own homes as white ones due to the systems that fail to serve everyone equitably. We awarded $3.4 million in scholarships to local college students, the highest annual amount since we started the Community Scholarship Program in 1997. Among the scholarship recipients, 69% are first-generation college students or the first in their immediate families to pursue a higher education. And 96% are considered low to moderate income students based on their earned family contribution data. During the past 24 years, we've awarded almost $40 million to more than 10,000 San Diegans. This summer, we also launched Level Up SD with the San Diego Unified School District and 88 local nonprofits. Level Up SD was a summer enrichment program that provided 12,000 school children with a summer of learning and joy and prepared them for a full-time return to school this fall. These two programs are what fostering equity of opportunity looks like for those who have been historically underrepresented and underserved in education. We launched the San Diego Regional Policy and Innovation Center and partnered with the world's leading think tank, the Brookings Institution. We've also brought together municipal and agency partners across the region to make sure we have the resources and infrastructure to address San Diego's most pressing issues. Through this partnership, we hope to find solutions to climate resiliency, homelessness, housing affordability, broadband access, health equity, quality jobs, and so much more to support the growth of San Diego for decades to come. This is what building resilient communities looks like for a region that has not been able to come together to address these issues and attract enough federal funding to solve them. Our board members and employees have embarked on a diversity, equity, and inclusion training program so we can better serve our current and prospective donors, deepen our work with our nonprofit partners, and serve as a local leader in providing similar training to other San Diego nonprofits. This is what delivering world-class philanthropy looks like in a region that is one of the most generous in the country. Please join me and cheering for this groundbreaking work by our nonprofit partners, San Diego's community and government leaders, as well as my colleagues at the San Diego Foundation. We truly could not do this work without your partnership and commitment. I am so very proud of our work 
and look forward with excitement to what we will do in our next 100 days. For our donors and corporate partners joining us today, we have one question. Where do you see yourselves in this work? What are your values, your hopes, and your dreams for San Diego? I look forward to hearing how you want to join us and the vision for just, equitable, and resilient communities. Thank you for that update, Mark. This work over the last four months has been invigorating and inspiring to our team, and we're so grateful to the partners and donors who have been with us on the journey so far. Now, I'm delighted and proud to introduce a colleague who has been pivotal to the success of so much of our work. Pamela Gray Payton joined us last year as Vice President and Chief Partnerships and Impact Officer, and her leadership has helped bring to fruition programs including the Black Community Investment Fund and Level Up SD with San Diego Unified School District. Her team oversees a wide variety of programs and initiatives aligned with our strategic plan. Please welcome Pamela to the program. Thank you for that introduction, Katie. This past year has been a whirlwind of activity for the San Diego Foundation and our nonprofit partners, as you will soon see in the following videos. Each video demonstrates how a nonprofit partner is living and breathing an important pillar of our strategic plan. Our first video is for the Blue Heart Foundation, an organization that exemplifies the strategic plan pillar of advancing racial and social justice. The Blue Heart Foundation is a nonprofit organization that focuses on underserved youth ages 13 to 19 in the greater San Diego region. They mentor young Black men to connect them with their communities and prepare them to be successful later in life. The Blue Heart Foundation is helping transform the lives of young people and the future of San Diego's Black community through their inspirational work. Here's more about the Blue Heart Foundation. Five, six, seven, Hey. What? You know what? You guys got that pretty quickly. Good job. Good job. The Blue Heart Foundation is a mentoring program that serves African American youth from 13 to 18 years old. We primarily uh, work with young men from 7th grade to 12th, but then uh, we also have alumni that come back and work with us. What we primarily focus on are, is leadership development, character development, academic empowerment, as well as mindfulness. We have over 100,000 hours of volunteer service. We have 100% admission to four universities. And basically, a lot of that is done by peer-to-peer -peer support. The foundation, we do a lot of activities ranging from leadership development workshops where they focus on 30 second speeches or um, elevator pitches to also doing community service and not just doing community service but teaching them the importance about it and giving back. The main goals of these activities are to help build leaders and help them um, learn how to work together in teams and just to grow together and hold each other accountable. Seeing how they lean on each other and how somebody pushes the other one to do better are um, somebody who's been through the program and graduated and has gone to college and them coming back and telling them like how Blue Heart helped them get to where they are. It inspires young men to want to do better as well. Now they're talking about going to college and they want to follow in those footsteps. Being in Blue Heart and building a bond with uh, my brothers that I've been friends with for so long uh, it's been extremely important and rewarding because I know that they'll be with me for the rest of my life and uh, whatever endeavors I tackle, um, they'll be a part of it too. After being here around the young men, I know that a lot of them are going to be successful in life. It's just good to see that they're all goal-oriented and they're focused on what they want to do in the future. And with them being involved in Blue Heart, they already understand a sense of community and giving back, so I know that they're going to be able to do the same when they get older. Thank you to our partners at the Blue Heart Foundation for taking the time to meet with our team to produce that video. Congratulations on all you do for our community. Now, I'd like to introduce another well-known nonprofit organization, Casa Familiar. While Casa Familiar does a wide variety of work in our local community, its work is an inspiring example of fostering equity of opportunity in San Diego. This past fiscal year, Casa Familiar assisted community members experiencing food and housing insecurity, presented workshops to thousands of San Diegans on topics ranging from civic engagement to financial literacy, 
and provided a variety of after-school activities for young people. Casa Familiar is helping the San Isidro community grow as a gateway to San Diego through its important work. Here's more about Casa Familiar. Casa Familiar is an organization in San Isidro that enhances quality of life. We do that in a very whole way that supports the entire family and the entire community through advocacy, through community organizing, through education, through affordable housing, through arts and culture, and community and economic development. Our greatest strength is community. We make sure that what we're doing and when we're doing it, that the community is with us. That's what really makes it clear when we're having an impact. And we've been doing that for almost five decades now. CASA understands that equity of opportunity affects all aspects of life. One of the ways that we enhance that is through our after-school program. Our program starts with creating that safe space for homework assistance, but it also addresses digital divide. It gives access to that device in the home, in our centers, and it connects with parents. It connects with parents to ensure they're part of the learning process. They can connect with teachers, they can connect with us, addressing all needs holistically. It's so important to have lasting impact and to do work in a way where you know that the work is helping today, but it will help 10 years from now. And the kind of work that we plan towards will help 50 years from now. I'm so privileged and honored to work with such an incredible team at Casa Familiar that has the ability to connect with families for generations. We're able to see the impact that we're having from our very young students to our parents and the grandparents, and they're the families that, you know, they're like my family. They're like my grandmother, my mom that needed assistance. They're like our neighbors, because a lot of the people we do hire are from the community. So we're not just helping residents, we're helping our fellow community members. It's something that resonates with me as in personally and something that my whole team really makes sure to keep at the forefront of why and how we do our work. Thanks also to our partners at Casa Familiar for taking this time to work with us on that video. Congratulations on your work in the community. For our third pillar, the next organization, the San Diego Urban Sustainability Coalition, brings together communities of concern, stakeholders, and other like-minded organizations through grassroots organizing to improve the quality of life for San Diego's communities most impacted by climate change. They are representative of building resilient communities in San Diego. This past year, the coalition has served as a core voice and partner in helping the city of San Diego develop and implement equitable policies and practices related to its climate action plan. Here's more about the Urban Sustainability Coalition. The Urban Sustainability Coalition's mantra is we are the cornerstone of equity in environmental energy and um, energy efficiency. Our goal is to empower, educate, and accelerate the advancement of energy and equitable solutions in communities of concern. We're currently based in Southeast San Diego, but we operate all over the county of San Diego. The Urban Sustainability Coalition offers them the opportunity to actually represent themselves in a lot of the conversations that are going on around the city, the region, and the country. The role of the Climate Ambassadors is to empower them to identify situations that are intimate to them, whether it's their housing situation or their street, and make sure that they understand that they have a voice and an opportunity to change things to their benefit. And we provide the relationships necessary to make that happen. Growing up in National City, I think, yeah, I was always had a sense of like what was wrong in my community and the Climate Ambassador Program kind of allowed me to take that frustration and be able to um, channel that to change. And it allowed me to kind of learn uh, different ways to organize, to, to advocate uh, on behalf of different policy measures. And at the end of the day, what I want to do is improve my community and uh, improve the living conditions for all the uh, brown and black children. And I want them just to be proud of me and to say in the day that I was able to make my community better. Thanks to our partners at the Urban Sustainability Coalition for helping us learn more about what you do.
Congratulations on your work in building a more resilient San Diego. Now, I'd like to introduce my colleague, Brian Zambano, Vice President and Chief Development and Stewardship Officer, to introduce our last strategic plan pillar and partner. Thank you, Pamela, for sharing the amazing work of our community partners. And now, I'd like to introduce you to our final strategic plan pillar, delivering world-class philanthropy. This pillar is all about many of you here today, donors and fund holders. Our team is committed to supporting your philanthropy and helping you achieve your goals for our community. We're deeply proud of the impact that fund holders like you have had in our community. Funds at the San Diego Foundation made nearly 7,000 grants last year to about 2,000 different nonprofits. You supported scholarships in education, arts and culture, healthcare, the environment, and much, much more. Whatever causes and organizations are nearest to your heart, your team at the San Diego Foundation is here as a resource and a partner. To highlight this pillar of our work, and as an example of exceptional philanthropic commitment, this next video features a key corporate partner, Hologic. Hologic produces life-saving and life-enhancing technologies. As the company has grown, they've also grown their support of the communities where their employees live and work. Hologic has partnered with the San Diego Foundation to fund scholarships for STEM education and to support women's healthcare and social and racial equality. Hologic is a regional corporate role model and an important example of impactful philanthropy. Here's more about Hologic and its corporate philanthropy program. Hologic is an innovative medical technology company. We're mainly focused on improving women's health around the world through the early detection of disease. And here in San Diego, it's actually our largest facility globally. We have about 1,100 employees. So the business success that Hologic has had over the last several years, both by improving women's health and also developing molecular tests to detect COVID-19, has really enabled us to ramp up our philanthropic efforts, and it's been great to partner with the San Diego Foundation to do exactly that. Hologic's philanthropic focus is really in three areas. First is areas of healthcare that the company is involved in. Secondly is STEM education. And third is issues of social and racial equality. So partnering with the San Diego Foundation has really enabled us to maximize our impact locally in each of those areas. Hologic's mission is really to enable healthier lives everywhere, every day. We certainly do that through our products, but we also want to give our employees opportunities to make an impact in our local communities. So one of the things we've done with the San Diego Foundation is partnered with them to create an employee matching program that really increases and maximizes the contributions that our employees already make to nonprofit organizations around San Diego. So one of the most important things to Hologic is how highly engaged our employees are. And one way to boost that engagement is by working with organizations like the San Diego Foundation to extend our philanthropic activities into local communities. One of the things that's been really gratifying to see is our employees and how excited they are, not just about what the company is doing in San Diego, but what they can also do locally through their philanthropic giving. Thank you, Hologic, for allowing us to share your story and for your inspired giving. And to all of our donors and fund advisors, thank you for trusting the San Diego Foundation as your partner in philanthropy. We're honored to work with you in support of our community. Brian and Pamela, thank you for sharing the work of such phenomenal community partners. And to all who were just featured, thank you for your work to support our community. Now we are so excited to roll out the newest way that the Foundation is celebrating exceptional philanthropy and inspiring leadership. I'm happy to turn the floor back over to Mark to announce the very deserving recipients of the San Diego Foundation's inaugural Inspire and Enable Awards. Thank you, Katie. And thanks again, Steve, Pamela, and Brian for presenting such an enriching and exciting program. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our event so far. I hope you will find this part to be the best yet. It's my pleasure to recognize our first ever Inspire and Enable Award winners. This is a new annual recognition that we're excited to celebrate in the years to come. The Inspire and Enable Award winners exemplify the work we do at the San Diego Foundation. From a personal commitment to do good, to the impact of our grant-funded work in San Diego, these two recipients are reflective of our vision, mission, values, and strategic plan. 
It's also important to note that both awardees have been important partners in the work we have done in the past year. Our first awardee is a person who reflects the very core of our values at the San Diego Foundation. She has been with us through thick and thin. She inspired us when we needed it and through her work and past leadership with the foundation, she enabled us to do more good for San Diego. We are truly so lucky to have her support and I'm happy to award the first ever Inspire and Enable Award to Connie Matsui. Connie has worn many hats at the San Diego Foundation. She's been a former Board of Governors Chair, a volunteer, a fund holder, and a donor. She also admirably served as our interim president and CEO. She's also a well-known local leader in philanthropy who is deeply committed to San Diego. When my husband Bill and I first started our fund at the San Diego Foundation, I had no idea where this affiliation would lead me. As a community volunteer, board member, and most recently a member of the staff team, I gained an enormous appreciation for the unique role community foundations fulfill in building strong and resilient regions and in their donors' positive and enduring impact. The San Diego Foundation will continue to excel as a civic leader and community builder. I'm therefore truly gratified to have worked side by side with staff and volunteers who demonstrate their authentic commitment to improving the quality of life in San Diego on a daily basis. Please know that receiving your recognition in the form of this award is deeply meaningful and incredibly inspiring to me. Thank you for everything you do. Thank you, Connie Matsui, for your gracious acceptance of this award. Congratulations on inspiring and enabling our philanthropic work at the San Diego Foundation on behalf of all the communities we serve. Our next awardee is an organization that heeded the call to serve us time and again during the COVID-19 pandemic. Whether it was providing hundreds of computers, laptops, and tablets to children for distance learning or expanding its food assistance services, this trusted organization stepped up to serve its community. It went above and beyond anyone's expectations when it managed day-to-day -day operations at the San Diego Convention Center when it served as a site for unaccompanied minors with financial support from our For the Girls Fund. I'm excited to announce that our other Inspire and Enable Award will go to SBCS, formerly known as South Bay Community Services. I want to thank the San Diego Foundation on behalf of our 500 employees for this award. These employees gave their heart and soul this year to address the issues of the pandemic and to continue to serve the families and children and the community on an ongoing basis. I was humbled that throughout this region we came together to address so many issues and to try to make a positive impact and to reduce barriers in the community. I also was very proud to lead our organization as we provided our everyday services, but also enhanced services like rental assistance, food distribution, COVID outreach and vaccine education, and enhanced mental health services. Most importantly was our work at the Convention Center bringing together an incredible group of providers to address the needs of 3,000 unaccompanied migrant children. This brought together a coalition of government, social service agencies, nonprofits, foundations, and private enterprise. It was this group that provided the life-changing and the life-saving services to these youth that we were so proud to be able to serve. It is our core belief that when community residents and local leaders come together and partner with local service providers and community-based organizations, we can have the greatest impact. It is this kind of dialogue that we need 
that will enable us to help each other be as successful as possible in addressing the challenges in our community and enabling community residents to succeed on their own. Thank you for this award and thank you for the opportunity to partner with the Foundation and others. Thank you to everyone at SBCS for your past 50 years of work and tireless commitment to serving San Diego. You and your team welcomed hundreds of unaccompanied young girls, fed and sheltered families in need, and helped deliver a summer of learning and joy to San Diego school children. Congratulations again and thank you for inspiring and enabling the San Diego Foundation with your community impact work. In addition to their awards, the San Diego Foundation will give $5,000 grants to the nonprofit of their choice. For all of you viewing us at home, I hope you are inspired and enabled by the work of Connie Matsui and SBCS. Thank you, Mark, for recognizing our award winners and congratulations again to the very deserving recipients. If you have a glass of anything nearby, I hope you'll join me in a virtual toast to all of the change makers represented here today. To the award winners, to our nonprofit and corporate partners and donors, to our staff and board leadership, and to all of you in attendance. This work takes all of us. Here's to you. Please keep an eye on your inbox or mailbox in the coming days for our annual report. Thank you for joining us and for all that you do for just, equitable, and resilient communities in San Diego.